Where are you coming from? San Francisco, California. Woo! I know. I'm going to the airport right after this. Oh, are you? Yeah. Upper back, little back, lower back, hips. Yeah. What happened to you? So, I had a spinal fusion when I was 14 years old. I think, yeah, I was 14. And okay. then I got the rods taken out when I was 17. Okay. So, in 2018. Um, that's, yeah, that's pretty much all. Well, what happened to you that made you have to get the... Scoliosis. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. It made it seem like it was, like, no other choice, like, almost. How was it? Because a lot of times you'll, mm -hmm. like, I'll hear people that get, like, the Harrington rods put in, mm -hmm. but they stay and they never come out. It was, it was terrible for me. Was it? Yeah, I did not like the, I just, I used, I played, like, basketball, volleyball, track, and, like, it just made me feel very restricted, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And, um, I had a, I think a 50 curve each was day or something like that. Pretty significant. It was very, very bad actually. But, um, yeah, that's why I had them taken, put in, put okay. in, yeah. But, yeah. Had really? a very bad effect on my mental health, physical health. I had like migraines for nine months straight. Really? Yeah, and anytime I would go back to the doctor, they would be like, it's not because of the rods. Oh, sure. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> Obviously, because of the rods. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. At mm -hmm. times, like, you know, you'll hop down that little rabbit hole of YouTube uh -huh. and you look at that surgery, getting the Harrington rods put in. I used to look at them, too. It's crazy. Yeah, and people think, like, the surgeons are going in with these precision tools. Dude, it's like it's, it's a wall like drill. It's like they at it. Yes. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. And it's, yeah. And it's uh, like... Oh my. Can't believe I was 14. I didn't even have much of a say in it. Like, I don't know. I wish they didn't do it when we were so young. Because it's right during... When we're gro growing. Yeah. Yeah. So, whatever. Man, look. Yeah. Good, though, in the sense that you got it in. Mm -hmm. Got things straightened. How, when was the last time when you got x-rays done? Like, what do you know the... Like, or, 2018. Okay. How was the curve and whatnot after? It wasn't that curved. It was pretty straight, actually. So, so you know what? At least you look at it. It mm -hmm. sucked for the couple of years you had it in. Yes. Yeah. Probably, like you were saying, you felt like restricted. Very restricted. Okay. I feel less restricted, but still, like, restricted. Gotcha. Yeah. But no, the, you know what? It did its job. Yes. Yeah, it messed with you with the mic. Like, the, mm -hmm. it did mess with you, but at least yeah. now they're out. And we can get you a little bit more relief. Better, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Now, what are you what are you feeling right now? I got a day to day. Um, I I don't feel pain. I feel like nerve tingling okay. all like this band here. Okay. Um, a little bit of numbness in my toes and legs. Okay. Um, I still can't bend this way, but I can like bend this way. Okay. So going forward, you're. Body just doesn't really doesn't, want to. Yeah, for some. Any pain, or just doesn't really want to do it. No pain, but if I sit for too long, I'll get pain. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think I have. I don't have like a lot of pain. It's more like nerve issues. And you said that it was like it's that. It's like here. Okay. So around the chest, yeah. and then okay. And I always want to like decompress, so that Y strap thing is like. <laughs> oh, I live for those videos. <laughs> so. Well, I gotcha. <laughs> uh, let me have you go face down. Face down. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if there's any pain or tenderness when pushing in. Now it's, yeah, so, I mean, the good thing is. That's the part where yep. it's like. Going around? Like, yeah. Okay. What is that? So, technically, the, and, and granted, this is probably from part of the surgery and whatnot. Granted, it did its job in straightening up, but mm -hmm. normal curves in the spine, so low back, which is having the lumbar lordosis, mm -hmm. like you want. Through here, though, you want a little bit of a kyphosis. And then back in the neck, you want that lumbar or the cervical lordosis in here. Uh -huh. 
But what is it? This is like flat. Straight. Yep. Yeah. It's like straight through here, which is why you're getting these issues kind of going around. Because then it's, it's pressure on the nerve and it's following the ribs going around. Is why you're feeling it kind of all the way around okay. across the chest. I'm going to start with the massage gun first. This is real tight, and then it's still just out of alignment so much it's not wanting to let go. Not in this direction. We'll definitely get it with a Y strap, but it's gonna make it. That's about one of the only things that's gonna help with. with mm -hmm. And then the other arm up here. Mm -hmm. Relax your arms. Right, I'm gonna do a little bit of soft tissue work. Okay. Kind of just release the traps for you. Raise your right leg up. Any pain with that? No pain, just, it's just hard. Okay. Compared to the left side? Mm, same. I mean, it's easier on the left. Easier on the left, okay. Yeah. Cross your right foot over your left foot.
Raise that right leg up again. How'd it feel? I feel like I'm engaged in the middle of my back right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before, I felt like I was just manually. Oh, that's better. Wait, that's way better. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> that's so much easier. Uh, let me get you to flip onto your back. Now relax it there. Oh. Yep, now you're good. There we go, that's out. Okay. Oh! Wow. Oh. Oh, good rest. Catch your breath. Oof. What did you feel? Like all down here. I don't know. I'm still feeling it. <laughs> uh. Catch your breath, yeah. That, it's a big one getting that done. Jeez. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like speechless. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh. This felt like a release here. Like here. Oh my god. <laughs> like, a little bit different than yeah, anything Yeah, I feel like I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Thank you. You're welcome. I got you. Come on. <laughs> I was like a basketball asleep. <laughs> You had so much pressure on you for so long. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get that just decompressed yeah. and yeah. taken right off. I know this was the one where you're saying it was hard to bend forward. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just, you know that kyphosis you were talking about? Yep. I think that's what it is. It just won't go that way. It won't go, okay. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what that is about. Um, I think maybe some of the joints maybe fused when it was... Because it was in the... Uh, Harrington rods like that for yeah, so long. But maybe some of them actually fused, I don't know, but it was it shouldn't have been that long. I only took put them in for like three years. So No, I, know. It, I think that's gonna be something just stretching and yoga. Mm, okay. It's gonna be probably one of the only things really to really loosen that. Yeah, just okay. because that area and when you have those rods and you physically can't like Move. you can't yeah. bend forward yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. It completely restricts it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. And then that cuz I know this was the one thing and uh -huh. that, Yeah, no my I feel much looser. Yeah. Definitely, especially in my neck. Like that feels much better. Good. Sit. Oh, sorry. Face, face that way, guys. Yes, because I know that you're literally flying back to. I am, yeah. I want to do one more wide strap. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do, I didn't know if we were supposed to, but I wanted to do it again. <laughs> no, you're good. No, um, oh, no. Come down, knees, man. Knees. And now I'll come back. Okay. Right here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. All right, now down. Anything again? There we go. Oh. Whew. That's bad. 
this time it feels it much right here. Good. Yeah, a little bit lower. Good. That's much better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I stand up? Rush for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I figured with traveling all the way on here, let's just get that second one in and mm -hmm. make sure. Yeah. Loosen that guy up even more. But um, with that kind of, what's the term again? Mm -hmm. Kyphosis. How do I actually improve that? If you've ever seen someone improve it. It, I mean, especially with like your age and whatnot, I know mm -hmm. you'll be able to. Yeah. So for you, mm -hmm. the hardest is getting things into flexion. Right. Um, um, a partial, I, partial with McKenzie flexion exercises uh -huh. will be a good one and then reason I always bring up like um, yoga or like a beginner's yoga mm -hmm. is it helps activate like the very small intrinsic muscle groups uh -huh. and just to help stabilize core muscles uh -huh. for you because you had that uh -huh. uh, the Harrington rods in for such a long time yeah. different areas of the body but some intrinsic muscles didn't have to be activated or used at all yeah. because you're, those were in. Uh -huh. Now with it being out, it's a little different. It's something you'll definitely have to work on. Right. But yeah, I would say definitely through yoga the, and like just stretching and yep. general movement. Yep. Okay, gotcha. And some of it, like you'll need even like a, a partner or someone to kind of give you a little bit of a push into you know mm -hmm. into some of the positions oh, okay. just because it's really you need to engage yeah. those muscles yeah okay. yeah and then it'll just help get you loosened up little okay. by little by little right. and then that'll start coming back because okay. yeah I would say three years especially at your age uh -huh. you shouldn't get any kind of fusion or yeah. whatnot but Not they do it so young it's like I don't know why they're doing that to people uh, see the only the only thing. Re the only reason that I'm not the biggest fan of doing things when you're that young is uh -huh. because you're still growing and right. and it it can restrict growth. Now, granted, I look at it, of course, getting it done, but mm -hmm. you know, even right after, you know, growth spurts and whatnot. Yeah. So technically, like for you, you almost should have gotten it. Or I mean, granted, I'm you know, I wasn't the you know, the dog that, that did all that mm -hmm. and whatnot, but in my perspective, I would say if it wasn't something life-threatening where mm -hmm. it was, take, you know, causing pressure, just say on like a nerve going to your heart or to, you know, yeah, yeah. if it wasn't something... It wasn't life-threatening. Yeah, I would technically say I would I would let the person grow <laughs> fully first and then put that in. Exactly. That's and, my... I, I believe that too. Just because if you've got something that's restricting you from growing, now you're, in, I don't know, I feel like it can cause more complications. Issues. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gwen, how are things feeling? Much looser. Like, it's only better. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It must, feels much better, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I know today you're not going to be lifting anything too no, heavy. No, but I'm going to be sitting yeah. pretty much the whole, for a long time, but that's that's fine. Yeah, try to kind of, if you can, halfway through the flight. Mm -hmm. Get up, just move <laughs> around, yes. Do a little lap around the plane, exactly. everyone kind of looking at you. Like, what? <laughs> Obviously looking to the yoga and yes. the Mackenzie flexion. Okay. Mackenzie flexion is like a, what is it? So flex, so Mackenzie has extension, which brings everything back, uh -huh. and then flexion, which, which brings, brings things back. that's where you're going to need a little bit more help yeah. with. Okay. And with then the with the yoga, that'll just help reactivate some of those core muscles, just, just to get things triggering and firing right. how it needs to be. Okay. Okay. But, Thank you so much. Nice to meet you're you. You're welcome.